After implementing a zero-tolerance policy on shoplifting several years ago, Mont Juliet police are seeing a decrease in that crime. In our all-day special reports in plain sight, we take a look at retail theft trends across Middle Tennessee. News 2's Kendall Ashman talks to Mount Juliet police about their hard stance. From the paddocks to the Providence Marketplace, there are plenty of places to shop in Mount Juliet. But thieves see a different opportunity. That's where typically a lot of the shoplifting occurs are those big box retail stores. Uh, and that's where we have our focus. When a shoplifting case occurs in Mount Juliet, police often take to social media. Just last week, two individuals were arrested in a theft attempt outside Academy Sports. One of the suspects had a history of aggravated kidnapping and robbery charges and was wanted for nearly a dozen felony offenses. The majority of shoplifters, too, are repeat offenders. They typically come from areas in the Nashville community. In an effort to deter crime, Deputy Chief Tyler Chandler says the department implemented a zero tolerance policy on shoplifting several years ago. In some communities, they just issue a citation in lieu of a physical arrest here in our community. We do a physical arrest of the shoplifter. That means they are booked into the Wilson County Jail, have to stay there, have to make bond. Because of this, he says crime trends are improving after looking back on 2015. Uh, back in 2015, we had 205 shopliftings. And then if you look at 2023, there were 168 shopliftings. And from 2022 to 2023, he says there was a 25% decrease in shoplifting. Chandler, in part, credits the improvement to their LPR system. In this case, it helped officers capture three individuals for committing a grab and run at Old Navy. We always see new people committing crime in our community and they never really come back. But when you look at their history, they have previous theft incidents all around the area. He says the department also dedicates officers to patrolling the popular shopping areas in a proactive way. They're just looking for crime. They're not stuck responding to crime that has already occurred. And when you have that situation where officers are free to focus on that criminal element, it continues to keep the crime down. In Mount Juliet, Kendall Ashman, News 2.